President Obama's birth certificate as released by the White House in April of 2011 on the official White House website. As we suspect, it is a fraudulent document. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. This continuing investigation has uncovered new information that deepens our concern that the birth certificate document is a forgery. After an official law enforcement investigation spanning over two years, the crimes of the greatest fraud in the history of the world are about to be revealed. These are facts that we are talking about. It's an official investigation. In 2007, MSNBC's Chris Matthews reported Obama was born in Indonesia and has an Islamic background. Then along with the rest of the media, Matthews began mocking those seeking the truth about Obama's life narrative as birthers, including Sheriff Arpaio and his investigation. The cold case posse has worked hard, long hours, even though they were stonewalled at every turn by officials in Hawaii and U.S. government agency. Governor Anderson is inconsistent in his statements. If he couldn't find him, I didn't grab his here. The original investigation into the authenticity of Barack Obama's birth certificate has now expanded to include a second criminal investigation with resources from the Maricopa County's Sheriff's Office. Where's Obama's birth certificate has compiled a sheriff's kit and distributed one to every member of Congress. You can get yours at where'sobamasbirthcertificate.com. When you come to the Congress of the United States, there are 435 of us. We're nothing more than a slice of America. And people come, with, regardless of party labels, they come with all kinds of beliefs and ideas. It's the, the melting pot of America. Uh, it's not up to me to tell them what to think. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic? I do. And I just found out today that the Speaker of the House is the one that told them that no one is going to entertain this at this point in time. Congress is lying to the American people and refuse to uphold their oath to the Constitution. We the people, the sovereign authority of these United States, are watching the foundations of our republic be dismantled right before our eyes. From the trampling of our God-given unalienable rights to the encroachments of a government that no longer recognizes the will of the people and the national media unabashedly intent on subverting the Constitution. The media has demeaned this investigation at every turn as silly and wasteful. He's never done anything wrong in his life, legally, ethically, whatever. This president and his administration, in my view, represent the greatest set of lawbreakers that have run the federal government in our lifetimes. The fact is, President Obama and his appointees have ignored federal laws, they've ignored binding rulings of federal courts, and they've ignored the limits on their power mandated by the Constitution. I will never hide the truth because it's uncomfortable. I will deal with Congress and the courts as co-equal branches of government. I will tell the American people what I know and don't know, and when I release something publicly or keep something secret, I will tell you why. We looked into the President's Selective Service form, and we believe that that form is fraudulent. What kind of leader would send a decorated war hero to prison and spend millions of dollars in legal fees to prevent the release of his original birth certificate? My oath of office is to the Constitution, and I believe we need truth on this matter. The truth about this PDF, this birth certificate, is you can't bring it into a court of law. The truth is it cannot survive judicial scrutiny on any level. We don't think there is a birth certificate out of Honolulu. We don't think he's a natural born citizen under the Constitution. And so from Terry Lakin's standpoint, uh, he's not eligible as commander in chief to issue any orders. Um, and so Terry's standing up for that. But then the extension of that is the corruption of the court martial system within Department of Defense that we know has been subjugated from the uh, Justice Department uh, and the White House through the Defense Department into establishing what we call it a kangaroo court. Now, I think there's treasonous offenses going on here myself. The media shut this issue down 
24 hours after the birth certificate was released. I have been in contact with prominent media people. I cannot and will not disclose their identities. That was the commitment I made because they fear for their jobs and some fear for their safety. There were threats made. There were people threatened with their occupation, losing their occupation, if they continued this. I can tell you personally, we were supposed to be our Kennedy and we got cut. What makes you, what, what are your qualifications to assess this? You say you have to look at it, you have to decide. What the, gives you the authority? We have to look at it. A lot of people have to look at it. Experts will look at it. Our work has been checked off and verified by a certified forensic document examiner who's testified in numerous trials as an expert. And at the end of his report, a 40 page report, he says in 20 years of seeing all kinds of documents, he has never seen anything so seriously flawed that in his opinion, this birth certificate is a complete fabrication. With complete contempt for the journalistic code of ethics, the mainstream media is wholly complicit in failing to vet Obama. By ignoring the daily torrent of obfuscation and abject falsehoods by Obama, they have provided the smokescreen necessary for Obama to veil the truth from the American electorate, forcing the United States into a constitutional crisis with immeasurable national security implications. Additionally, it gave cover for Congress to totally ignore all demands for redress from their constituents and the confidence to brazenly obstruct justice with impunity. The fact that the national news media has willfully committed fraud by broadcasting deceptive reports about a known fraudulent birth certificate forever implicates them as part of a treasonous cover-up allowing a candidate with known aliases to usurp the United States presidency and command of the armed forces during a time of war. This perilous breach of public trust is nothing short of an attack on the heart and soul of this republic. That's a felony. If any of you went and tried to make a birth certificate, that's a felony. If any of you took that birth certificate and tried to pass it off for gain, that's a felony. If you took that birth certificate, you created it, and you put it on the White House website, that's a felony. I don't know, how many more felonies do we need? What happened to the rule of law in this country? We should heed the wisdom of Thomas Jefferson, who said, equal and exact justice to all men of whatever persuasion, religious or political. When this information is finally exposed to the public, it will be universe shattering. Stay tuned for the universe shattering criminal evidence soon to be released by Sheriff Arpaio and lead investigator of the Maricopa County cold case posse, Mike Zullo. A sheriff kit too is also in the works and will be immediately available for you to deliver to your representatives in Congress. Trey!